We've all heard so much talk about El Nino returning, but what is it? I'm meteorologist Annette Boerza, and El Nino and La Nina are both complex weather patterns that alter the entire weather landscape around the world. El Nino and La Nina are opposite phases of what's called the El Nino Southern Oscillation or ENSO cycle. Both take place in the East Central Equatorial Pacific Ocean, in other words, just off the coast of South America. During an El Nino year, there is an upwelling of warmer than normal ocean waters in the Pacific Ocean. And then during a La Nina year, there is an upwelling of colder than normal ocean waters. Oceans cover about 75% of the planet. So when we see a big temperature swing over a large section of the ocean, it changes the weather patterns worldwide. For Africa, a La Nina event will typically bring a cooler and wetter than average conditions, mainly during the summer months over the southeastern countries. And then an El Nino event will then typically bring warmer and drier conditions from December to February over that same area. Both events, however, have very little effect over the southeastern parts of Africa during the winter. So is there any correlation between the end zone and the rainfall? Looking back at the average percentage of normal rainfall across South Africa for the past 10 years, there's a few that stand out to me. It's the 2014 and 2015 drought. Just to explain, the map behind me indicates below normal rainfall in colors of yellow to orange and above normal rainfall in shades of blue. During this drought, the Free State and Northwest provinces recorded their driest midsummer since 1900 which was during a strong El Nino event. And then there is the 2017 to 2018 drought. This was also during a strong El Nino event and will be remembered as the year when Cape Town almost reached day zero. In the last three years, South Africa has been dominated by a La Nina event. And most scientists believe was one of the strong contributing factors that led to the devastating floods in April of 2022 along the coast of KwaZulu Natal. Remember, Enzo is a complex weather phenomenon, so the effects on weather patterns vary depending on several factors, such as the location and the strength of the Enzo. But overall, the Enzo and extreme seasons are strongly linked. So, what can we expect this season? The Enzo outlook has been raised to an El Nino watch and we have seen significant amounts of warmer than average ocean temperatures in the Pacific Ocean. As the sea surface temperature anomalies continue to strengthen in the tropical Pacific, this means while the El Nino Southern Oscillation is currently in a neutral phase, there is approximately a 62% chance that El Nino may develop during May to July of 2023. So in conclusion, Enzo is a strong influencer of Southern African seasonal variability. Enzo to double in frequency in a future warmer climate. Both El Nino and La Nina have very little effect over the southeastern areas of Africa during the winter. Enzo is predictable with several months lead, gives us time for preparedness and adaptation. And if the forecast holds true, the possibility of a transition to El Nino later this year could bring record heat, possibly drought for the summer rainfall regions of South Africa, as well as Madagascar, Mozambique, Malawi, Botswana, Zimbabwe and parts of Zambia.